Hello again and welcome to another episode of the High Techman. I'm your High Techman. I am Ken Chan. And uh, today we are going to download and use Hoonix in our virtual box. Where do we get a virtual box? Well, I'm using, well, Peppermint 8 <laughs> right now. And on Peppermint 8 anyway, you can get virtual box in your software manager. We're going to check it here. Now, I already have this downloaded. Um, in many of these Ubuntu-based Linuxes, you can find VirtualBox quite easily. You might be able to do a sudo app get install VirtualBox, or you may be able to find it on the web. Uh, you know, they have a, it's, uh, I believe it's Oracle that does this. They have a website. You can check there as well, but uh, for the quick and easy way, uh, if you're using an Ubuntu-based uh, Linux like uh, Ubuntu, Lubuntu, Zubuntu, Peppermint, Mint, uh, you can find VirtualBox pretty easily. So, and you would download and install that. We're going to go ahead and open mine right now. And I have some uh, little tasty ones here. Yeah, okay, don't make fun of me for using Windows XP SP3. Uh, I don't actually use it. It's, it's more there for decoration. So, now, what? So now we go online. And we get our... Where is it here? Our Hoonix. And it's at https www.hoonix.org. I will probably put this in the um, description below so you can get to it quickly and easily. Stay anonymous with Hoonix, a high security method of surfing the internet. Despite the fact that it says this here, based on Tor, isolation, and compatibility, uh, when you actually download it and run it, it will tell you do not depend on Hoonix for anonymity. A lot of that has to do with the fact that the Hoonix itself cannot keep you anonymous. The, the Tor, just like the Tor browser itself, cannot keep you anonymous. A lot of that has to do with your habits and can you think. If you use the Tor browser and you go to your Facebook and you post things to your Facebook account, you've just blown your cover. Okay, and uh, everybody knows it's you. So little things. There's a lot of little things. I'm not going to go into it right here. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to download Hoonix. I hit the download button there. Choose your operating system where you, of course, are using Linux. And there are two virtual boxes versions that you need. You need the gateway and the workstation. So that's the gateway. That's the workstation. Now, there's a easy way and a hard way to do this. We're going to do this the easy way. We're not going to go into the re de the really detailed version of this. Uh, let's just remember, though, that the default username is user. The default password is change me. Okay, just think of a baby or someone that you might know with a diaper fetish. Now, these are going to download for a while, so we will come back when they're downloaded, and we will go ahead and go on with the installation. Okay, and we come back, and our downloads are done. We have the Hoonix workstation there. We have the Hoonix gateway there. Now you need to run these both. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get them out of the old, uh, the old folderino here. Here they are. No workstation, the workstation and the gateway. And let's put these someplace where we can leave them. Uh, let's be organized about this. How about in our local Linux folder here that I have here, handy. Now these are the old ones here. I'm going to put the new ones. Uh, 
Now, I had the old ones on here before, and I got rid of them because they are now out of date. And just like anything else for the best security that you have, you want to run, you know, for the best security that you're going to have, you want to run the newest thing. Now, I'm only going to show how to install these. After that, what you do with that is your business. Um, so, let's just go ahead and get rid of the old Hoonixes so that I don't accidentally use them. Okay, so we got 140074 on both of these. So, okay, so let's close this up. Get rid of that. Get rid of the old internet as we are done. Oh, just real quick, I'll point this out. If you don't have VirtualBox, um, before you know, you're looking for it, here's another place that you can install. When, for installing VirtualBox, you can find it. Uh, expand on the right side. It tells you um, how to get VirtualBox. And there's some, there's some, uh, some instruction there. You can just copy and paste this stuff. Okay, so there's a little bit of help there. Uh, but, like I said, the easiest way is to just, you know, hopefully you're using an Ubuntu-based Linux or a simpler Linux for this kind of thing. Mint works great. So, now we have, we open our Oracle VirtualBox Manager. This is our VirtualBox here. So, now... We want to import appliance. So we go under file here and we import an appliance and we hit the little folder thingy. Uh, and then we go into our home, you know, our home uh, folder. This is like the videos version of that, but we'll go back here and this is this. Okay? So, and we put, now this says VirtualBox VMs, that sets that up for you. Okay, I know those are general, I think those are hidden in your folder actually. Uh, so, but we had ours in Linux's local. That's where I put mine. I made that folder, it's called that because it is. And here they are. So we're going to head, we're going to start, well, let's start with the gateway because it's the first one here. We put that in, click that, next. This is real easy. Don't touch anything, just say import. It gives you all this. You say agree. Now it's going to start installing it. Do, 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 do. And it'll say, okay, seven minutes remaining, eight minutes. It won't take that long. See, look, there it goes. It's going to giddy up, go, and all of a sudden it's going to be, it's going to go womp, and it's going to be done. Okay, see, look at that. Womp. Told you. All right. Now, you need to run these both at the same time in order for this to work. That's right. You heard me right. So, that's the Hoonix gateway powered off. So, we are going to go in, and we're going to say import appliance again. No, not a blender. No, not a toaster. Just a regular appliance, okay? We go back into Linux's local, which is our folder. Now we get the workstation. Next. Don't touch anything. Hit import again. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, agree. Here it comes. It's going to count up to like eight minutes. Oh, nine. Oh, no. Ten minutes. This one, this one takes a little longer. But again, all of a sudden, it'll just womp. And that'll be that. You watch. It's, it's good like that. So there we have it. It's coming in pretty good, pretty quick. there okay so now we have these two here let's ignore the windows uh, but we have these two here 
So we're going to go ahead and power this up. Start. And we're going to power this up. and hit start. And we're going to run these simultaneously. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off the screen so we can take a look at these. Now, the workstation screen is the one where you're going to do all the fun stuff. The gateway is the thing that monitors all the internet activity. So you kind of have to have both. You got to have them both. And these things here, I don't know if if you haven't used VirtualBox before, uh, clicking into one of these screens will, uh, at least during this boot up sequence, will lock the lock the mouse in there, and you have to hit Control Alt Delete to get it back. And you can change your, and this keeps popping up, and you keep got get, got to get rid of it. But uh, and you can change the size of the uh, sizes of these, and actually I'm going to change this to do 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 do. Let's make this scaled mode because it just looks better, I think. Okay. We'll leave that one a little bit smaller now. We're going to wait a second to... I'm going to pump up the sizes on these in a second, but if you see, see, watch my mouse goes boop. Oh, no, there it is. It's fine now. So we can uh, bring this down here and make this a little bigger. Womp. And this one, the gateway asks you this question. Because the gateway is in charge of connecting you to the internet it takes care of all that crap so you answer those kinds of questions here connect um, if you need to configure I don't I, I don't know what your what your uh, internet looks like on your end but mine is just an easy connect kind of thing uh, so womp Tor will be enabled uh, okay womp So here we go. It's establishing the the network. Oh, we'll, we'll get into a little bit of this. We'll get this to where it's running, and that'll pretty much be it. At that point, you can play with it and see what it does on your own. It, uh, you might have to fix your clock. Then again, you might not want to fix your clock. That's up to you. Think about it. Um, connected to Tor Network. Finish. Okay, and it tells you this is not a personal uh, workstation for your own private activities. So please do not use Unix Gateway for any purpose other than con configuring Tor in Unix. Okay. Um, the workstation is this. This is just for configuration and you know, connect your connection. This is your connection to the internet here. This thing. And you have to run these both at the same time for it to work right. Make sure you do that. And they give you some information about documentations and stuff like that. Um, and you can read about this. Extra stuff. But anyway, there it is. It's working. It's up, uh, okay, and it's you know, doing the Hunix check. It's connected to Tor. And it may give you a warning. There's this, this newer one here. Okay. Sometimes it gives you a warning it needs to be upgraded or updated. I would just do the update. The problem with upgrading these things is then it doesn't work afterwards sometimes, but if you need an upgrade, just go get a, a fresh download and start over. Remember, these can be easily removed from your... Uh, from your virtual box. It's not that hard. You just delete them. And when you do that, delete all files, delete everything associated with it, and that gets rid of it. This virtual box thing, unless you set up shared folders, you are you should be in no danger of leakage from these onto the host computer and you will also find that there's no leakage between these two. So if you 
copy something from this one and you try to paste it over here, not going to happen. Okay. Okay, our Hoonix check is done. And it gives you this information here. So it basically says that uh, app get reports that app packages can be updated. So you can run a sudo app get update. This says do, you do a sudo app get update and a sudo app get dist upgrade. I wouldn't do the dist upgrade part. I would just get the update. Now this version of Hoonix has been squirrelier than the last version. This always wants updates, even after you've updated it. Okay, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But maybe you don't like this version. Maybe you might, might want to wait till the next one. But this is how you install it. Okay, and that's what the whole point of this video was, is to show you how to install it. So, we've successfully done that. It's up to you to play with it. If you have any comments or any hints on how to make this any better as far as using the Hoonix, be sure to chime in, comment your experiences with Hoonix. What do you think of it? Do you like it? You think it sucks? Leave a comment below. Thanks for checking it out. Thanks for watching. Be sure to share and subscribe. And we will see you here next time.